So I wanted to make a video today about protecting your papayas from the papaya fruit fly. It's a really big problem in the sort of southern half of Florida are these papaya fruit flies. Some people call them papaya wasps. They look kind of like a wasp, but they're a fruit fly. They come, they sting immature fruit. They deposit eggs inside the fruit, the little, little worms. I don't remember the larvae. I don't know the exact word, but they eat up the developing seeds. The fruit ripens unevenly when it's way undersized and it'll either just fall off, which is what usually happens, or they'll eat their way out and they'll fly out and just become sort of endemic in your system. And they're a big problem. They will literally get almost all of your papayas. So they only host on papayas pretty much as far as I understand. This is a red lady papaya here. I just cut the top off of this, oh, excuse me, off this two year old, two and a half year old red lady papaya. You can see where I'd cut it back in the past right there. But what I wanted to talk about is the different ways to potentially protect your papayas. Pretty much the only way to do it is to bag your fruit. Now, you can see here on this plant, I've got several different bags and I wanted to show the different bags. So again, there's one, two, three, four different types of bags. So I'll show you here. They grew everywhere, but the air conditioner turned on. So, one of the first one that I have on there is basically just a little dog poop type bag that you would use to pick up pet waste, right? This is plastic and it's secured with a little piece of elastic stretchy string. These are effective, but you have to cut a hole in it so some water will drain out. And that doesn't breathe, which has been somewhat of a problem, could be, but these also don't hold up in the sun. Within a month and a half, they're just shredding to pieces. Right, and doing this, tying this little bag around it, and you guys, I've seen people use produce bags. Tying this around it is hard, especially when the plant gets larger and it's mature and you have to get up on top of the ladder. This is hard but it is effective, you know, and I've seen maybe you could do a bag with like a clothesline clip, a clothespin, that might work, but this is one option, but it's kind of hard to do. The next option is these type of fruit protection bags. Now, this is just basically like clear screen type material now I'll show you one of the other ones that I have over here that you can see how these type of bags work. Basically, I got these on Amazon. It just has this drawstring, right? And the problem with this is when you tighten this drawstring, it doesn't, it doesn't cinch down. Like I can fit my finger, look at that, I can just pull it right off. So I'd have to go around, tie it, which all this is really hard because once your papaya is maybe more than a year old or in its second year, it's these, like this was, you know, eight feet up in the air to the shortest fruit, which you can prune them back and, and do that. It's just managing it. I'd rather the papayas are much, it'd be ideal if I can just let it be a single stem, right? and I can manage the papayas, the bagging, a little easier, right? So these bags are okay. You know, they're effective to some extent, but I have seen when the bag gets like this, it's got such big holes in it. I've seen a papaya fruit fly land on this and sting this fruit right through this bag. But they also just don't stay on as well. You can see how like, they come off and tying them is really hard to do. It's really difficult to do when you're up on the ladder or 
trying to get to your tree in again on a ladder or on a stool or something like that so the next ones that I tried after those was this type of bag now these are effective right this is a type of bag again I got these on Amazon this is a bag like you would see used for apples or pears it has a little hole down here but it's like a double layer paper bag but this it has a wire wire in here these are hard to put on they're really not easy to put on at all and they don't stay secure and one of the things about protecting the papayas is that you have to get them really you need to get them when they're like this size this big like you got to get them early because the the fruit flies they want to sting them when they're about golf ball size to baseball size is the preferred size because the the little ovipositor has to get into the inner seed cavity and if it's too big it can't get into the inner seed cavity and if it's too small there's no seeds in there developing for the the developing larvae or whatever to eat so they want the papayas to be a certain size but it, they can go from this big to that big really fast in the summertime especially if they're well pollinated so and one of the things i noticed maybe we'll see it with this one but this one i did get on right let's take this off and see what we got see this is one of the problems with these bags see all the ants in there and these bags also i've noticed it on some of my other papayas because it doesn't let in any light the papaya will be white completely white and i don't think that's correct i don't think it's going to ripen properly if you were to keep it in that type of bag throughout its life cycle and again they make this nice dark place for the ants and once the fruit is ripening i use these on my peaches and it was just a, there were so many ants and once those sugars start developing in the fruit you know obviously papayas you're going to pick a little sooner but still i i don't i was not a fan of these bags they're really hard to put on and they have this ant problem now the last thing that i've tried latest thing i've tried is these bags now this bag has extremely extremely small mesh right and one of the things that's nice about this bag I'll go over here and again bought these on Amazon is it's got two drawstrings on both sides I just place it over the fruit and cinch it right and it holds on there good it's holding on there good and what I can do is I can kind of puff it out around the fruit around this little fruit and make that air gap so the wasp can't the, the fruit fly can't really get to it and I don't know if the fruit fly is going to want to sting through this really tiny mesh but we'll see I cut this one down I cut the top off of this papaya because it was just you can see where these fruit are i've been battling the, the 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 wasps or the fruit flies right and i keep getting dropped dropped, 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 dropped. all these have been dropped and they showed up last year the first year i grew papayas i had zero problems i grew probably 60 i had two trees side by side right here and they each made like 60 papayas the first year or probably like 40 papayas each and then the second year the the fruit fly showed up and then it was just i didn't get any zero and i just i beheaded the papayas and see if i could break the disease cycle the cycle by just removing the ripe the, the papayas and taking a little break but they came right back now this spring since like march honestly i haven't seen hardly any papaya fruit flies but I've been bagging my fruit. So 
it stands to reason that if there's no papayas immediately in the area and your fruit is bagged and you can you can kind of break the cycle of of the problem so I just wanted to make this video to show these bags are promising these these bags are are manageable right and if they do sting through this bag what I could do with this bag is take a piece of paper or something right something that's that's the plastic like these plastic bags they don't sting through these something about this they just don't they can't or they won't sting through it you could shove it in the bag and then stick the bag on and zip and then there would be like a little something over top of your fruit now these are red lady papayas so this is bag is way too small for this fruit but because they're so easy to put on i could just loosen this you know by the larger size and these other bags i think will work when the fruit is larger it's the small fruit that really are vulnerable to the fruit flies so again i think these bags are the way to go they're the easiest to put on and they're secure that bag's secure on there it's not coming off so i really like these and if you battled for papaya fruit flies you'll know what a scourge they are so now that i topped this papaya i'm going to try to see if i can actually root the end of this papaya in some in some soil and see what happens but uh yeah i just wanted to make this video to show what i'm doing to try to fight these fruit flies